Hey guys, this is Mac HT Tutorials over here. And uh, in this tutorial, we're going to get some information from my account or your account or whatever account that's actually connected. So I haven't uploaded in about five days. I want to say sorry. It's because, long story short, I dropped my phone in the toilet and uh, it broke. So, and I have a security, so I tried logging in and it was like, we'd send you a text message. I was like, but my phone is broken. <laughs> so I wasn't able to get into my account. So I changed the number to my sister's phone, blah, blah, blah. And uh, let's just get started. So last tutorial, I said, we're gonna need this ID that we got here. We're gonna need this ID to access some of our information. Now, this is true and this is false. So the reason why I said that is because I thought we were gonna do it using another language called PHP, we're going to use both of them using JSON. I mean, JavaScript does have JSON. I'm just not really that familiar with it. So guys, I'm not going to be doing it that way. I'm going to actually do it another way. That's actually exactly the same, just a bit easier. So I added this right here and I'm going to show you where I got that from. So normally we just had this, right? So we're going to make a new variable called var sub or subs. All right, that's perfect and parts so you're probably like okay where do you get this from mac now we're getting this from here so this is basically the api right here gdata.youtube.com slash feeds api slash users and then you put your username so in here is everything you could achieve i mean retrieve from the api so in here i put this so basically this is the comma that starts i mean the symbol that starts the uh less than symbol and then you get this part not youtube you don't put the youtube part because that's basically the username right here so we get this part those are the parts and uh let's get that real quick so we're gonna put comma and get that part so after that we it basically everything inside of here has an equal sign next to it, as you can see and i'm let's say i'm gonna get this sub count so i drag that right there so C, copy that, and I'm gonna make a new variable. I'm just gonna delete this one right here. And uh, I already made the new variable, so it was uh, subs equal, and it was response dot items zero dot statistics dot that thing right there. So once we have that, we're gonna send it to this uh, function we made. That's just gonna display. So we're gonna subs. As you can see, we just display, blah, blah, blah. Let's save this real quick. Send it to our server. And let's run it. So there we go. And that is it. Almost the exact same number. And I'm gonna see my channel. My channel actually see they do have 28. So this is kind of wrong. If I refresh the page, no. All right. Well, my channel does say I have I have a two to um six thousand two hundred ninety eight. This is off by one, but still, it's not a really big difference. And that was the doorbell. But that's it, guys. This is a quick tutorial, and you can actually do that to re retrieve everything, guys. So next tutorial, something uh, better. We're actually gonna be maybe uploading a video using the API or something. Sorry, I'm talking so fast. I have to actually open the door. <laughs> so peace out, guys.